All right, we're back. I just skipped over that whole part because it was literally me standing there running around in circles not knowing what like to do, like a chicken with my head cut off. So that's probably going to be the end of a video, and so this is the beginning of a video, maybe. I don't know. I'm still doing this in one sitting, so I have no idea what I'm doing. Here's the part where it really gets fun, because I'm running through the city like a chicken with my head cut off, and if you pay attention, you might notice that I take some of the worst possible routes ever. I mean, if you just pay, if you just look, you'll think, why would you go that way? And I didn't know what I was doing. I was running around dodging monsters, and I just decided, well, that down, that place down there with the lava looks safe. And I mean, I didn't die. Somehow, I didn't die. But it just makes you wonder. How am I alive? And that is the philosophical question of the day. Uh, there's lightning everywhere. That's probably not a good thing. This is back in solidarity, if you haven't noticed with the lava. Uh, this is solidarity, and I'm thinking, oh. Well, the mobs are dangerous. I'll go down here with all the boiling hot lava. Lava is safe compared to these guys. As long as you don't fall in, it's fine. It actually it, it brightens up the place a bit. It's really nice. But uh, there's a creeper, and here's where I almost died of a heart attack just because I had to go around this in a rush, and I was fucking freaking out. Ah, <laughs> good times. Good times. There's back to the main road. There's roads all over the place. I, I never really followed them. I went off tangents and stuff. I think that cool looking pyramid beacon structure is to my right, but I didn't look at it again. I'd like to go back there. I'd like to go back there. So right now, um, I've got no idea where Flame is. This was originally a scouting mission where we were... No, no, it wasn't a scouting mission. We were gonna go over there and fucking wreck the doves. And, uh, we got to the bridge, everything went to shit. Uh, Flame got separated from me. I don't know where he went. I think he might have. I don't know if he went back to the base. But, uh, he got fucked, which was funny. So it was kind of just me out here. And I didn't want to go back to the base. I wanted to, you know, find the dove base, so I kept going. I'm really glad that I did, because, uh,. It was nice. There's all the people that are online right now. Uh, as you notice, the doves are farly outmatched by the crows in terms of how many people online. Because that was th that was the thing. Like while you're playing this game, I mean, it was kind of hard to stay away because if you're offline, you don't know what's going on. And I mean, this is a game. You're trying to win. So if there's like four doves online, and there's only two crows, and you're one of them, if you leave, I mean, that's it's not good. If everyone just decides to go to sleep, the other side can raid, just un unopposed, unmatched, and that's not good, so, attention was key, attention was key, you had to stay alert, you had to be on often, which uh, I had work, so I couldn't really be on that much, but, uh, and when I was on, I was out here doing this bullshit. So, was I a credit to the team? Possibly. Maybe a little. But, not really. I was out here doing fuck all, looking at shit with fraps running in the background. I use fraps, by the way. I don't know if anyone else does. Uh, that's just, I don't know why I'm talking about my shit. Uh, there's an Enderman. He's creepy. Uh, I think I saw someone flying earlier. Yeah, that's Ben up there. He's being all majestic as fuck with his flyingness. Um, he starts to really fuck with me too, like, uh, coming up. Um, there's a chest with nothing in it. I don't know why that's there, but... Uh, we're coming up on Minor, the city of Minor right now, which is the intact city. And, uh, he gave me a horse. <laughs> he keeps trying to give me horses. 
in this game, and I'm just, I, I tried to get it on it, and it didn't work, so I fucking left, uh, because one of those baby zombies was chasing me. No idea what the fuck this thing is. This, like, this makeshift sun in the middle of this large building. I have no idea what that is. It looks really cool, though, and that's the, that's the warning that I am in minor right now, so if I don't get out, I'm gonna get fucked. So I need to get out of the city limits at this time. I think I've done that successfully, so I do not need to worry about creepy GK ninjas assassinating my ass. Ass, ass, and maybe, you know, sh shut up. And now, I think this is the part where I start to get fucked with, because uh, pretty soon, here <laughs> we, um, I don't know if this is a potion or some mod, but uh, I have very limited vision right now, if you haven't noticed, and now it's gone completely. It's completely dark, and I'm shitting my pants, because there's monsters all around me, there's arrows all over me, and I'm freaking out. So, uh, it's back, but not to normal, it's still the limited vision, uh, which this was fucking scary, just going over this mountain. Uh, I think that was Ben having a giggle. Having a giggle? Did I just... <sighs> Okay, sorry. Anyway. So here's me, getting fucked continuously. There's crazy sounds all around me. Um, I think that's passed already, I don't know, because again, I have it muted. But, um... I think something was following me. Maybe it was Ben just making like weird sounds. I don't know. But, uh... Scaling this mountain... No idea if there's a giant hole leading to my death up ahead, so I kind of have to be careful. Uh, there could be lava in front of me, I have no idea. Uh, it's pretty scary walking around like this, I gotta say. It beats most horror games, that's for sure. Especially when there's unnecessary silverfish around you. Real freaking dark. And now it's back. <gasps> and look! Somehow, suddenly, by some sheer amount of luck, I have reached the dove space. I don't even know how. I wasn't teleported. I, I somehow did that. And so I've got an invisibility potion, and I'm going to drink it. But uh, there's a slight problem with that. And you'll see here. In a minute. <laughs> So as you can see, um, the, invisibility, the invisibility potion doesn't really work that well when you've got iron armor on and thousands of arrows poking out of you, so that's that's funny. Uh, coming up here is um, how the doves got onto the island, because we had a crashed ship, or we had a plane crash. Look at what these fucking guys sailed in luxuriously on. What the hell is that? This fucking cruise ship. They sailed in, like, fucking, what is, we spawned in a, an on-fire plane that was sinking. I mean, we, we had to haul ass out of there, it was, it was crazy. It was, it was, it was crazy. And I'm, I'm sure they had, uh, I'm sure they had little jet skis or motorboats. They probably had servants that escorted them to the island. It's fucking bullshit is what it is. So here's me. Sneaking my way into the dub base. Being all sneaky. And there's an invisible person. That's probably Lax thinking he's being so sneaky. But I see you. So I'm sneaking in. Are there any doves home? <gasps> yes, there are. That's Mr. Sal. He does not know I'm here. There's just a mindless thing with arrows. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you! And look at that. I have slain the dove. But they have a farm of mobs that almost kills me. Um, but I, I have killed him, I have slain the dove, I have done good, and here's Chillax in his wonderful ghost outfit. So here I am, I'm in the dove's base, uh, I've killed, I've killed my first dove, and everyone's just here now, there's Eric's, uh, Eric was a dove, uh, mayo man, and I'm kind of raiding everyone's shit now, it's just, uh, cause I, as, as, one against the enemy team would do. And um, I think I've still got the footage of what I did to the base after this. 
which is really funny because um, uh, Luis was a dove in this. She was Boop's girlfriend at the time. Uh, that relationship is no longer in effect, but um, at the time, she was in here, and <laughs> well, you'll just see. You'll just you'll just have to see. Um, a gift awaits the newly acclaimed champion. Uh, so I'm, I, I guess I'm a, the champion of the crows, if you wish to call me that. Uh, you should actually. Okay, you know what? I, I will now henceforth be known as the champion of the crows. Here's where he's like saying vanish and become one. I don't know what he's talking about at this point. Um, I still kind of don't, but. Uh, I've got an invisibility potion, so I threw it on the ground in hopes that that did something. Uh, I've got no idea what he's talking about, but, um, look at those fucking eyebrows, did you see those? That's a weird skin. And, uh, here's me. Not a lot of really valuable shit that these guys have, at least not to me. I was looking for diamonds, I assume they had their diamonds hidden away. I didn't have a lot of time to really pillage the dove base, as I didn't have as much time as I wanted. And here's me uh, mining dirt, which is brilliant. I don't think I had a shovel, so you know, shh. But, um, I, I wish I had more time to pillage and devastate this base a bit more. But, uh, it got shut down shortly after, so I guess it really wouldn't have mattered, but still. It would have felt good, you know what I mean? It would have felt good. So here we go, raiding the dove base, fucking up their shit, there's Eric's empty chest, Abel's shit, Abel was a dove too, and he, uh, Abel built a watchtower from what I understand, and, um, it apparently gave their position away and got them fucked, so, um, I didn't actually see it, but I heard glorious tales of Abel's watchtower. I would go ask him about it. I think he's quite proud of it. Here's a Sal's room with tons of accessories. My trusty steed awaits. Ben keeps trying to give me a horse, and I'm just like, no, I want to stay here and fuck their shit up more. And yeah, I, I didn't spend a lot of time in here as much as I wanted to, so that's unfortunate. And there's a tub sitting right there, there's Lucas, and just Lax is just sitting there like, KILL HIM! <laughs> I'm still invisible, so I guess he saw a bunch of arrows coming at him, so that's funny. Uh, so that's two doves I killed during this, and uh, I, think, I think that's all the doves in the game right now. So I think I eliminated every dove from the game right now so you know good job for me champion of the crows what would you expect and um here's the wonderful farm you should have seen our farm do we do, do we have a farm i don't think we had a farm the dove base i will say much better than ours i mean so much better than ours we had we had that wooden building with two stories some shit underground and like that's it Okay, I mean, we did not have a lot. These guys, th the dub base was better. Here's this weird glitch, or not a glitch, it's Lax trapping me with a bunch of invisible anvils. Uh, that's how he got me into the, uh, well, that's how he got me stuck, so he could build the glass prison around me. And you can't, like, look around. If, you, if you'll notice, like, I keep trying to jump and, like, look, and I can't. It's, like, s forcing me to center forward. And every time I try and, like, mine anything, it's some weird force stops you from doing that. Sad, slanty mouth face. So, Lax, just, I, I don't know if he's, like, pissed off at me or something, or just, he's being lax, so being a dick. And he, he keeps trapping me. And now I'm on top of the dove base. There's the, uh, the dove sprout. Like, it looks a lot more heavenly than the crow's one. A lot more water and... Is that iron blocks, I think? It, it looks really nice, actually. Looks really nice. I like the dove relic. Crow one is obviously better, obviously, but you know. 
I think that's my horse over there. I think I left the horse there. I didn't want it. I don't like horses. Because I'll get too attached to it, and then when it dies, I'll have like an existential crisis. And I'll be sad. So I still got a bunch of arrows sticking out of me. I have no idea what Lax was doing at this point. I really don't. There, he freed me. I, I think he wants... I think they want me to get on the horse and leave. And I'm like, no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to get on the horse. But I got on the horse. I think I was supposed to ride it away and like into off into the sunset or something. I don't know what I was supposed to do. I've actually never ridden a horse uh, up until now. This is my first time actually riding a horse in Minecraft, so I was kind of trying to like figure out the controls and stuff. But um, I didn't really like it. I mean, I I wasn't trying to go anywhere. I wanted to stay right here. So um, this was this was not something I wanted. Which is unfortunate because I think they really wanted me to have that horse, you know. They keep, they they really really wanted me to have a horse, and I I didn't I didn't want a horse. I didn't want it. Didn't want it. There's a random villager stuck in the dirt. I don't know why there's villagers here. And there's a bunch of zombies that were caged up. They seem to be going straight for Lax, which is funny. Um, Lax just sitting in a tree. K I S S I. Bunch of random monsters in here. Death follows you. I didn't find any diamonds at the dove base. I don't I don't think I found any diamonds. Which is unfortunate. Either they had them on them at the at all times, but they didn't uh I didn't find any. And here's the real funny part, because they had a lot of water above their house, and oh fuck! <laughs> 